Hello everyone, this is Jack. Previously I made a video about three mosquito traps using borax, yeast and soap and none of those traps actually worked. So I've been reading some comments under the video and people are actually recommending some changes to these traps. For the yeast trap, viewers are recommending to use warm water at at least 110 degrees Fahrenheit and use a lot more sugar to activate the yeast. For the soap trap, viewers are recommending to use stale water. And then the viewers are recommending to place these traps in a dark place away from the sunlight and at least run the traps for at least two to three weeks. So I'm going to implement these changes to two traps, the yeast trap and the soap trap. For the yeast trap, I'm still using this active dry yeast. And I added the active dry yeast to the bottles. I heated the water and had it cool down to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. I then added the water to the active dry yeast in the bottles. I then added 4 tablespoons of sugar to activate the dry yeast. I placed the top part of the bottle upside down on the yeast trap only. For the soap trap, I'll be using this old water that has been sitting on my counter and I've been using this water to root my herbs and I got a couple of bottles of this. I added the stale water to the bottles and then I took some liquid dish soap and added the dish soap to the bottles as well. The soap trap is ready as well. I conducted a little experiment by placing the yeast trap and the soap trap in my garage in front of a white sheet. I wanted to see if any mosquitoes are attracted to these traps. I ran the camera for half an hour and not a single mosquito came close to these traps. However, when I went into my garage to check up on the trap, I had the camera rolling and mosquitoes just attacked me. As you can see, there are mosquitoes in my garage. To keep the traps outside in the dark, I'm using a cardboard box. It has this opening where mosquitoes can get in. I'm placing the soap trap in the box and I'm also placing the yeast trap in the box as well. So it's been two weeks and things are not looking promising. Let me show you. So I cut my hair a little short. I think I kind of like my hair long. Oh, let me show you those traps. So here are the two traps that were kept in my garage. The soap trap does not have anything. The yeast trap has one bug in it, but it's not the mosquito. These traps were kept in the dark in my garage away from the sunlight. Let me show you the ones I have outside. Here's the yeast solution. As you can see, there are no mosquitoes in this one. There are a lot of fruit flies in here. I see a lot of fruit flies. And there's a fruit fly that is caught right there as well. So this one is really good at catching fruit flies. However, no mosquitoes. And here's a soap solution. Same thing. There are a lot of fruit flies in there, but not a single mosquito in here. And the soap trap is supposed to be left open without any lid because I want mosquitoes to go in there and land on the water because soap removes the surface tension and the mosquitoes should drown. Here, let me show you the bottom of this trap. As you can see, there are a lot of fruit flies in there, but there are absolutely no mosquitoes in here. I think mosquitoes must be much smarter than we think. There are over 3,000 species of mosquitoes, so some might behave differently than others. However, the species that I've got here must be very smart, but guess what? So I can charge the capacitor in there like this and when a mosquito comes closer, Okay, so this might seem a little exaggerated, but you get the point. This is the process I went through in a nutshell. This thing might be really good with flies, but not with mosquitoes. Not only mosquitoes are smart, but they're much faster. I don't think I got a single one. I might have electrocuted myself once, but... I got a fan. I wanted to make sure that the fan has enough power. This one has multi-speed, which is perfect. So whenever I'm working outside, these mosquitoes are hovering right on my face. And it's because of the carbon dioxide I'm exhaling. They are attracted to the carbon dioxide. So I got the soda bottle. I'm going to punch a hole in the cap of the soda bottle because I want the carbon dioxide from this bottle released very slowly. Plus, I don't want mosquitoes to get into this bottle and start laying eggs. As you can see, the soda bottle is releasing carbon dioxide very slowly, which is perfect. I'm going to cut this cardboard box to make my trap. I'm going to make an opening for the fan. This is how the trap looks like, and here's the opening for the fan. I'm using the wire mesh from an old screen door and placing it on the fan. 
I'm securing the screen on the fan with some tape. I also place a white paper towel on the bottom of the trap so I can see the mosquitoes. I place the fan in the trap. I then took the 91% rubbing alcohol and added the alcohol to the spray bottle. I then sprayed the screen and the paper towel with alcohol. When mosquitoes come in contact with the alcohol, they die. Then I placed the soda bottle in the trap. And then placed a lid on the trap. I want to make sure that there is only one entry point into the trap and only one exit point. Carbon dioxide will slowly release from the soda bottle. And since carbon dioxide is heavier than air, it will settle into the cardboard box and attract mosquitoes. Mosquitoes will enter the trap, get overpowered by the fan, and will not be able to get out. So I've been running this for two hours. So let's see what's going on. Check that out. You see those? Those are mosquitoes. Under the macro lens, you can see that they are in fact mosquitoes. These are the ones that have been causing me so much pain. This is not a whole lot of mosquitoes, but it shows that the concept works. From my experience and a lot of research that I've done on mosquitoes, the only way to get rid of mosquitoes is with the high powered fan and some sort of a way to attract mosquitoes. However, one of my viewers actually told me about a mosquito repellent spray that you can make yourself. It's called a Paul Harvey spray if you're interested in looking into it. And I'll be making a separate video on how to use this spray and if it is effective. So that is coming as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.